It's a highly contagious viral pig disease. There's no vaccine for it, and the mortality rate can be as high as 100%. The African swine fever affects domestic and wild pigs and is wreaking havoc in Europe, Asia, and Africa. 45 countries are reporting spreading infections, and more than a million pigs have died. There has been a surge of this disease since 2016 in Africa, Europe, and Asia. Um, countries have killed over a million pigs. So the, the disease is really devastating. The, the virus is highly contagious. It kills a lot of pigs. And those that it don't kill, um, you have to kill them because then they become a source of the infection. They become reservoirs. When a pig contracts the African swine fever, it begins suffering from loss of appetite, fever, vomiting, bloody diarrhea, and swelling in the joints. While the disease does not affect humans directly, the fear lies on the crippling economic effects it can have on a country. The virus poses a threat to international trade. In Belize, the swine industry is considered an important economic contributor to agricultural growth. Pork is a big industry in Europe. Europeans eat more than 70 pounds of pork per capita. In the case of Belize, we are around 12, 12 pounds per capita. We slaughter about uh, 30,000 pigs per year. It's an important industry for, for Belize, and if it was to come, it would have devastating effects. Belize does import pork-related products. The virus is resistant in processed meat and incredibly so in the environment. At Christmas time, we import lots of hams and picnics. Uh, if we were to import those products from an infected country, that could be a threat because the virus survives smoked meat. We're an importing country. We do import lots of pork. Um, we do special, special parts of, of the pig, um, the pork bellies. We do import that too. So if we were to import that from an affected country, that, that would be a, a source of infection. The threat is real, and with the way the world's transportation system operates, it's closer than you might want to believe. Um, the disease is over a great area, Africa, Asia, Europe, and we must um, realize that a, a plane could be here from Europe in nine hours. So that is how fast a, a, a virus can move. Um, so despite saying that those countries are far away in reality in terms of time uh, that virus could be here tomorrow it is for this reason that the belize agriculture and health authority is ramping up precautions to protect domestic pigs and the industry director of animal health at baja dr miguel de paz says that belize is taking a proactive approach in dealing with the threat dr de paz says that precautionary measures including the strengthening of quarantine control points are being put in place to prevent the introduction of the disease in the country. Baja, along with the Ministry of Agriculture, has embarked on a public awareness campaign throughout the country. Two meetings with pig farmers in the north and west have been held. We must um, realize that it's not only the farmers that have a role to play, it's everybody in general. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the ordinary person that goes over the border um, and bring in bringing stuff, um, they could bring in not African swine fever at this time, but any other disease, so we do have control for, for the general um, public. Pig farmers are being encouraged to strengthen their pig farm biosecurity measures. All suspected cases must be reported immediately to Baja. A temporary ban on pigs and pork products originated from ASF affected countries has been implemented. Again, African swine fever does not affect humans. It is safe to consume Belizean pork and pork products. Hippolyta Novello, News 5.